Hello, this is Hydroman here, and this is a LED driver I built to power a 2 watt LED light set for my room that runs off of 12 volts. This is the circuit board I bought from Radio Shack that powers the LED, the LEDs for my lights which can power up to four 1 watt LEDs and two 3 watt LEDs and these are the LEDs right here that go to the light I built which are two 1 watts that run off the driver the two 1 watt LEDs are mounted to a heat sink with a metal plate that holds the LEDs with a thermal paper with a thermal sheet between them and the heat sink to keep keep the LEDs from overheating then I added a piece of diffuser screen that I pulled from an LCD screen so that the lights aren't incre aren't incredibly bright when looking at them and then I added a fan to the heat sink that runs off the LEDs power to keep it all cool when it's hanging and then this is the driver I built which I modified it a bit. One thing I I had to add was a heat sink to the power MOSFET because the power MOSFET was getting really hot yet the diagram said it didn't really need one but I would add one if you were to get one of these kits. And then I added a selector switch I added a switch onto the one of the resistors to engage it and disengage it to select the current for between one watt LEDs and 3 watt LEDs so that this can be more universal and then I added a power switch that can turn on and off the LEDs when I want to like that and then they hang and then this driver will will change the voltage automatically to require to that set milliamp output for the LEDs and then for the driver the input voltage can be either AC or DC and this is the range that it can hold on a second that it can operate between is 6 through 14 volts AC and 9 through 18 volts DC and the maximum il the maximum milliamperage that this driver can pull from 12 volts I mean that voltage range is 650 milliamps max and then I have this driver running off of a 12 volt solar battery box that's connected to it by this cord which goes up to here that runs off the 12 volt battery box which right now I have a power inverter hooked up to it running this this 8 watt fluorescent tube that I'm using to light up my circuit board right now and this is the solar battery box I have which has a charge controller and four 7 amp hour batteries that are 12 volts with a main power disconnect switch right here which I'm upgrading to a larger amperage switch later on and that's pretty much my video